This video was made in collaboration with the Avatar Wiki. If you'd like to learn more, check out the link in the description. Earth Kingdom Fashion A great diversity of clothing exists within the Earth Kingdom, reflecting its vast size and varied climates. Citizens typically dress in an array of greens, browns, golds, yellows, and other earthy colors. Kyoshi Islanders, who usually dress in blue attire, are an exception. Particular styles of clothing can indicate wealth, social status, and even local customs. In general, people residing in rural areas or from modest backgrounds, such as Haru and his family, wear relatively simple clothing, while royalty and other wealthy citizens, such as the residents of the Upper Ring of Ba Sing Se, usually wear fancier attire. Welcome to the Imagi. In today's video, we're going over Earth Kingdom fashion. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Ba Sing Se More than anywhere else in the Earth Kingdom, Ba Sing Se demonstrates how fashion can reflect social status. The city is divided into three different socioeconomic rings, each housing people of specific classes and backgrounds, so there are great variations in attire. Generally, however, lower class citizens wear darker colors, while middle and higher classes wear lighter colors. Ba Sing Se, Lower Ring. The lower ring is the poorest, dirtiest, and most crime-ridden area of the city. People here tend to wear clothing in shades of brown and dark green, emphasizing their low position in society. The style of these clothes is anything but elaborate. Most wear raggedy kimono-like tunics, and if lucky, a reasonable pair of shoes. Lower Ring, Hair. Hair is not usually styled in the lower ring. Women tie their hair back or style it in some form of bun, though not to an extravagant degree, and men almost universally wear cues. Some exceptions can be found, however, due to the large number of refugees from other parts of the Earth Kingdom that have settled in the lower ring. Ba Sing Se, Middle Ring In the middle ring, clothing is fashioned in more elaborate styles, usually in lighter shades of green. Women wear dresses accented with gold and yellow, and men sport more extravagant tunics. Middle ring, hair. Middle class families are adequately secure financially. Therefore, men can afford to braid their hair or pull it back in a top knot, often wrapped with a green band. Women too have more elaborate and decorated hairdos. Ba Sing Se, upper ring. Due to the great wealth of the upper ring, its inhabitants wear the most extravagant styles of all. Their clothing is fashioned in various shades of light green with gold trimmings, worked into elaborate designs and patterns. Women wear full-length dresses, and men longer and more heavily embroidered tunics. Upper Ring – Accessories and Cosmetics Women in the upper ring are often seen with accessories, such as elaborate headpieces, often gold-colored and adorned with flowers, dark green fans bordered with gold in a wooden frame, and chartreuse parasols made of similar wood. Higher-class women also wear cosmetics, varying from applying white powder as a foundation to accentuating their cheeks with pink or red blush and wearing variously colored eyeshadows. Upper Ring Hair Women in the upper ring typically sport an elaborate hairstyle known as a kito. The hair is worn long, often with bangs, and collected in a bun at the base of the neck. Generally, the most noticeable feature of the hairstyle is the large hairpiece the shape of which can range from thin and straight to broad and fan-shaped. The hairpiece is usually accessorized with beads, pins, tassels, and large fresh flowers. Men, as in the lower ring, almost universally wear a queue or a long braid and keep the front of their head shaved. A few exceptions do exist, however, as the generals on the Council of Five wear the more typical Earth Kingdom fashion of a topknot and coronet. Earth King the Earth King wears a formal green and yellow robe known as a chow fu, with distinctive horse hoof cuffs and a green ceremonial collar known as a piling. On his head, he wears a black hat with red trim, a gold finial on the top, and the Earth Kingdom symbol on the front. Around his waist, he wears a green sash fashioned with a buckle shaped like the Earth Kingdom symbol. This ensemble is completed by a set of court beads fashioned from jade. When visiting colder climates, King Kuei's attire stayed essentially the same but with more layers and a fur-lined cloak to protect against the cold. Outside Ba Sing Se Outside of Ba Sing Se, the clothing becomes much more varied. The general Earth Kingdom palette of greens, browns, and yellows still predominates, but styles can be significantly different from region to region. 
There are certain exceptions to this color palette, however. Chong and his group of nomads wore multicolored clothing in eccentric styles, reflecting their carefree and non-conformant nature. Jet and his freedom fighters, due to their off-the-grid lifestyle, wore clothing that was cobbled together from a variety of sources, including discarded pieces of Fire Nation armor. Depending on the location, social divisions may also be much less rigid than in Ba Sing Se, and clothing may not change significantly in style between people of different classes. Different kinds of clothing may also be adopted for specific tasks, regardless of the wearer's status. Ganjin Tribe The Ganjin, although displaced during the Hundred Year War, pride themselves on their sophistication and refinement, which is reflected in their clothing. Attire consists of long, elegant robes in shades of creamy white, pale yellow, and gold. Hair is well-maintained and often elaborately coiffed, and men sport elaborately styled beards. This style of clothing does not appear to change significantly between the sexes. Gaoling As a large and prosperous town, Gaoling was home to a broad range of people of various classes. While remaining secluded on her parents' estate, Toph Beifang wore an elegant dress and a white skirt, yellow sleeves, and bodice decorated with a floral motif, while her parents, Lao and Poppy Beifong, wore long flowing robes in shades of olive green. Kiyoshi Island The Kiyoshi Islanders are unusual in that they wear blue clothing as opposed to the greens, yellows, and browns found in most of the Earth Kingdom. Because of its relative proximity to the South Pole, an economy based largely on fishing and agriculture, clothing on the island tends to be multi-layered against the cold and fairly simple in design. The major exception to this scheme is the Kiyoshi Warriors, the island's famed core of all-female fighters. Modeled after the island's creator and namesake protector, Avatar Kiyoshi, these warriors clad themselves in armored green kimonos, metal headdresses, and elaborate makeup. The kimonos are embroidered with silk thread, representing the brave blood that flows through the warrior's veins, and bear a gold insignia representing the honor in their hearts. Omashu As a large cosmopolitan center, second in size and importance only to Ba Sing Se, Omashu contains many distinctive styles of clothing. Earthbending soldiers, who guard the city gates and operate its famous internal delivery system, wear long yellow tunics over gray pants, accompanied by hats, shawls, and lower leg protection in strong green. Studded gray gauntlets provide lower arm protection, and the tunics are secured with a belt whose buckle is shaped like the Earth Kingdom symbol. As with many earthbending soldiers, their feet are bare to create greater sensitivity with the earth. Non-bending soldiers wear longer, more layered tunics in shades of brown and olive green, the upper portion of which also bears the Earth Kingdom symbol, as well as heavy boots. Ordinary citizens appear to dress in fairly simple but well-made garments in shades of bright green and yellow, somewhat similar to the middle ring of Ba Sing Se, and some citizens also wear green turbans. The clothing worn by the Omashu resistance during the Fire Nation occupation was slightly more uniform in style but not completely homogenous. An underlayer, either a tunic and pants or a dress, in yellow or pale green, and a shorter, sleeveless over-tunic in various shades of green, trimmed with a contrasting green stripe and belted with the left-hand lapel over the right. The King of Omashu dresses in elaborate clothes similar to those of the Earth King. The King usually sports a green hat, a green or purple robe, and several elaborate rings. Zaofu Zaofu prides itself on being a center of technological and cultural innovation, and the clothing of the Metal Clan reflects this, being essentially a modern update on traditional Earth Kingdom garb. Dominated by shades of green, gray, and black, the designs are much more utilitarian than most other parts of the Earth Kingdom, with clean, simple lines and little embellishment apart from metal jewelry. Zaofu is also considerably more egalitarian than many regions, so there is not a significant difference between the clothing worn by ordinary citizens and by higher-ranking members of the clan, including the matriarch herself. Taking this notion further, the clothing worn by men and women is also similar, both following the long, streamlined aesthetic and not changing dramatically between the sexes. The citizens of Zaofu don their garments with a great sense of pride for their city-state. Zhang Tribe The Zhang are known for their rough-and-ready lifestyle, which is reflected in their clothing. The tribe dresses predominantly in crudely made clothing, usually in shades of reddish-brown, gray, and black, without any significant decoration. The leader of the tribe also wears a tunic made from the pelt of a hog monkey, where the creature's head served as a shoulder decoration. Other, hats. 
Peasants and farmers tend to wear conical straw hats developed to keep shade as large in an area as possible, thus being practical for working in the sun. Thicker hats are made from faux fur and sold in Kaya's town. One cap has a decorative striped raccoon tail attached to the back, and as such, it is mainly intended for use as an ornamental accessory. The upper class of the Earth Kingdom mainly wear a coronet known as guan. These vary in style immensely and indicate social rank and wealth. Chin the Great wore an especially elaborate piece called the Tangtiang Guan. Mayor Tang wore a Fangjin, a rectangular hat for lower officials, while Puan Tim wore a Puto, a rounded black hat used by scholars. The festival robes for male citizens of Chin Village include Wusha Mao, large hats with two oval flaps protruding from the sides. The women of Ba Sing Se wrap their hair around elaborate supports and ornament them with flowers. Other ornaments. Select citizens wear glasses, such as Earth King Kuei. Some citizens also sport headpieces, mostly generals and military officials. Earth Kingdom necklaces can also be found worn by various people, often made of flowers, gold, jewels, or wood. Elaborate faux fur products, such as coats, scarves, and dead animal skins draped around the neck, are available at Kaya's town. Other swimwear. As represented by Toph Beifong, Earth Kingdom swimwear resembles regular Earth Kingdom clothes in color, coming in yellows and browns. Other tattoos. Tattoos are not common, nor frowned upon in the Earth Kingdom. Earth Kingdom citizens such as June and the Boulder have tattoos. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.